Welcome back to the Bearded Garage. Today is the 4th of July, one of my favorite days. All right, so uh, because it's America, because we uh, we got some alcohol, we got a couple of fireworks, and uh, today we got out the, uh, the grill and the smoker, so we're gonna have a good time today. But uh, today, before all that gets going, I'm going to show you how to plug a tire. Not very hard, but uh, real quick video today. Here we go. So the quick story on this one was uh, we're actually helping out the, the local Boy Scouts, Troop 14. And uh, one of the things that happened is I uh, went to go deliver about six or seven yards of mulch in this 10,000 uh, pound trailer. And uh, that tire was flatter than hell, or at least that uh, where that tire is. So here's what we did. All right, this is all you're gonna need to repair your tire in this particular case. I'm gonna need an air compressor. <clears throat> I need a screw gun because I found the screw. Some nips to uh, replace the plug and a very simple tire plug kit. You can buy pretty much anywhere. Tractor supply, AutoZone, whatever. All right, to do this job, uh, first thing we're gonna do, I've identified the screw. Now, if you can't find the screw, uh, coat this entire tire in uh, soapy water, and any soapy water will actually do the soapier the better, and watch for the foam. You'll see foam starting to come out wherever it's leaking. Because I know where it is, first thing I'm gonna do is just remove it, and I'm gonna remove it with a screw gun. Ah! And, and that doesn't work, so. Move it with a pair of nips. Try to take it out as straight as possible. It looks like it's a metal screw. So, next thing you do is you take your reamer, you put it down into that hole. all rounded out we know it's good to go since that is a small hole we're gonna use this tool we're gonna peel back these sticky bastards hopefully we can get them out of here come on come on all right we're gonna put them in here and we're gonna jam it down in that hole now the only reason i'm waiting and i left the reamer in there because if i don't the tire will go flat it's a lot easier to do it when there's a little bit so this I'll show you a real quick trick sometimes it's a real pain in the ass so what you can do is you can put this in here you can twist it and open it up once it's open all right once this is open you just slide this gooey thing down in here there you go take the screwdriver back out now try centering it so you're not retarded just like that. And now she's down in there. All right. That is it. Now, I'm going to coat this in a little bit of cement. And typically, you get this rubber cement will come with the kit. Um, you can, once you're done, you can actually buy a lot of this stuff independently. Uh, just coat it here and coat it here. All right, so the, based on the size of the hole, use the different size strips here. So once I pull this out, that is going to leak. That's going to leak like a sieve, and I'm going to jam this in. And that's as simple as that. And we'll be almost done. I'm going to coat it up a little bit more just in case. Glue's cheap, right? All right, here we go. I'm gonna go in straight. The goal is to go in straight and not twist. can't get it in, it means you didn't ream it well enough. Try that again. If you 
gotta push hard. Probably doing it right. All right, that is literally all you have to do to plug a tire. Now, very simply, yes, I'm breathing hard. Yes, it's because I'm fat. You can just drive down the road, but you will hear a thwap, thwap, thwap until it wears off. So I'll take these same, I call these dykes, nippers, cut them bad boys off, and then you're good to go. You got yourself a tire. Next thing we're gonna do here is we are gonna fill our tire right back up. All right, make sure there's no leaks. That's just 21. All right, there's not a hiss from the tire. And the next thing, the next thing you do is uh, to make that rubber cement cure, you can typically use it right away, but I like to put it out in the sun for a little while and just get that um, rubber cement, uh, um, you know, uh, stickier and, and cured. So that's about it for that. Maybe it's just a personal thing, but the last thing we're going to talk about here is um, that tire. So as you probably noticed, I bought a whole extra tire. Um, and why would I do that? Well, I'm the kind of guy who really does not like being caught somewhere and uh, not having the crap I need. So what I actually did, got myself two, uh, two simple bolts. I mounted it to the front here, right underneath my Brymar logo. Uh, two bolts that ran all the way through, just carriage bolts through the wood. Um, bolted it right in place. In fact, you can see right here, uh, this is my repaired tire, and there is the plug right there. She's sitting out in the sun. She's good to go. Um, in this case here, I now have a, an 18 volt DeWalt and the, uh, the appropriate size uh, impact socket, so I can do this on the side of the road if I really need to. That's um, that's all I need, man. Um, that is it for plugging a tire. Uh, thanks for tuning into the Bearded Garage. Like and subscribe. Thank you.